All right, guys, we're going straight out of the box and straight into the mud. Makita has a brand new line of outdoor power tools and we are going to see if we can overpower the power broom. We're gonna see if we can jam up their string trimmer. and we're gonna test out their blower as well. We are gonna be putting these things through the gauntlet. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. So Makita sent us these tools with no restrictions. One of the first tools we're gonna to test out is the lawnmower. We're gonna test the runtime, then we're gonna keep throwing stuff in front of it until it plugs up, and then after that, we're just gonna take it through water. But for practical purposes, the assembly of this mower took about 25 to 30 minutes to put all together straight out of the box. Now let's get to the testing. First thing we're going to test is we're going to see if we can bog down the Makita power brew. This is a decade's worth of rock, mulch, dirt plants, roots, so let's see if we can get it to quit. So this is driveway trap rock intermixed with Creeping Charlie. It's been here for at least 15 plus years growing together in a mat. Shoveling your way through it wasn't a possibility, so I thought this would be the perfect test for the power broom. So while we were doing this test, I had this aha moment that the power broom would be perfect for removing mulch around houses. You get that dirty, nasty, compacted wood mulch, and you've gotta scrape it up. This is the tool. At least that's what I came to conclude because look at this, the fabric below it was perfectly fine. It didn't damage it. All right guys, we got the perfect conditions to test out this mower. The yard hasn't been mowed in three weeks or so, and it just got done sprinkling this morning, so everything's gonna be wet, which is perfect. Let's make it harder, not easier for it. So let's just get started. So we had a nice little shower come through just moments before we shot this video. It's definitely wet. So this Makita mower runs off from two separate sets of batteries that are tied together but run individually as one. They call it row one and row two. When you have the dial selector switch on one, that's the bank of batteries that's operating the mower. If those go dead, you switch it over to two, pop row one into the charger, and now you're still running your mower, but you're running on the second set of batteries. Now when you want to engage the blade, it's got a big red button and a big red safety lever. Both of those have to be fully engaged to activate the blades. Then when you want to have the, pow the mower self-propel, it's got a push bar on the back. First test is runtime. Let's see how far this baby will go. Now Makita's mower does something that I've never seen done on a mower before. It actually increases the torque as it senses more resistance is applied to the blades. This is meant to conserve the power in the batteries. If you listen, you'll hear it shifting up and down as it goes from taller grass to shorter grass. For the 
runtime test, we're not just timing it, but we're also going to look at how much ground it will cover. After this, we're going to start throwing everything we can at it to see what it takes to plug it up and stop it dead in its tracks. She just died. Let's see how long we're into it. 29 minutes, and I believe that's the first set of batteries. Let's check. We were on number one. Number one, these should be fried. The second bank should be fine. Okay, that's showing one. That's showing one. These should be full. Full. All right. We'll switch to two. So let's go up and see what our battery indicator light says. Battery indicator is showing. Second row is full, first row is dead. All right, let's keep going. The entire time I was mowing, I was making the mower self-propel to see how fast that would drain out the batteries and how far this would go. We are about at a, our hour long range, but let's see how the batteries were on two. Let's see how these are. One bar and one bar. All right, well that brings us to the next phase of, well let's, before we start the next phase, let's take a, take a look at what we were able to mow on one battery. So, I mean, one set of batteries in the mower. We got up to the house, this, right to here, over to here. So, this part of our yard, I would consider to be about the same size as a normal yard because we have kind of a lot of acreage out here and this was pretty bad conditions i mean let's take a look at what we were mowing which will bring us to the next phase of our video to see just how much stuff this thing can go through so let's jump right in now an important thing to note on our runtime test we were using five amp hour batteries so if you up it and use six amp hour batteries you will get longer runtime So that handled it pretty well, so let's step it up a little bit. We need a bigger pile, a much bigger pile. But luckily for me, I've got weeds everywhere because I own a lawn company. Next up, the gauntlet of weeds, dandelions, roots, sticks, whatever I can find. Let's see if the Makita will mow it. Because why not?
next up, we're about to get wet. We're gonna go mow some wood. All right, for this next segment, I think it's pretty important to point out how wet this grass is. Oops. Well, if you can see me, I think you can get the point. That was actually the dry part. Where we're going, it's much wetter. I think that's about as wet as we're gonna get. So let's move on to the next tool. I've never actually seen Sam quite as excited to do a vi product video I, as this one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't usually like that. Yeah, these ones, eh. I am really excited about this one. I've been using this in the last couple of job sites as their new battery pack system and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, but there is a, something kind of cool about this is that you can run any of these. Any Makita battery power tool, you can run off of this. Um, this is detachable actually, so you can run like the miter saws and all that kind of stuff too off of this. You don't have to have it be a backpack system. But what I was, uh, I was doing a little reading on this and uh, so essentially there's a brain in this thing. So say you're using one of these 36 volt tools like uh, you know the Sawzall. What this will do is select the best two batteries out of the four and run that Sawzall off of those two first. When those two batteries die, then it will cycle to the other two and run off of those. But there's an adapter on it where you can run all of just the 18 volt tools. So, you know, drills, impacts, uh, the grinder. I'll be, okay, I'll be the first person to admit I, I've been on record ragging on Makita for only having the one size of battery and and all that, and uh, I gotta I gotta take all that back. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> system weighs approximately 15 pounds full of batteries and that means all of the weight is now on your back and not in your hand so it's things like the string trimmer actually feel lighter so I'm gonna try out the Makita 36 volt string trimmer here this thing's pretty slick it has all the controls on the top right or left handed but it has a reverse function on it so say you're using this in some real tall grass or something and it gets wound up around the head, you can hit that reverse function to hypothetically unstick it. So we'll try that out. All right, just gonna turn it off. Boy, you think you got that much easier. that string trimmer so much he stole it from me. 
So Frankie and Sam decided they want to try to bind up the string trimmer to see how that reverse works. This string trimmer has three different speed settings on it. You can manually select your speed setting, otherwise it will actually downshift itself if you start getting into some really thick, nasty stuff exactly like the lawnmower will do. It also has a, a reverse function on it, so Frankie and I tried so hard, so hard to make that happen so we could try that reverse thing out. It would not, it was just not getting jammed up. Wouldn't do it. Overall, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that whole system. I mean, it's super comfortable, extremely comfortable, and uh, it only it's only 15 pounds with the four batteries in there, so definitely easy to wear around. And I mean, you can run all the tools off of this thing. It's awesome. All right, guys, that's our video. Please hit the subscribe button and tell me what you guys want to see next. More job sites, more tools. What do you guys want to see? And that's our video for today. God bless. Go get them, you guys. And hopefully we will see you around if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Well, I still got a lot of lawn left to mow. Catch you next time, guys.